In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slide on cyber security. As you can see here, I've added one background image, uh, looks like of a laptop. And then how it works is when I click, you can see here one uh, line which is looks like it's scanning and then I've added the text called the cyber security and I've added different icons related to the cyber security and you can see here the text I have added here. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these honeycomb shapes you can change the text change the background also and I've added one more slide where I have used this kind of uh, background image you can see here something like this also you can create it so this will be very helpful for the cyber security professionals and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through PayPal or Patreon the link is provided in the video description section I have used office 2019 version to do this if you are using the older version then some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color gradient fill. For that, right mouse click, go to format background and I'm going to select gradient fill. By default, there are four stops. I'm going to delete two stops. So I'm just selecting this one, delete and this also delete. Now, one stop I'm selecting, go to more colors. You can choose any dark color. For example, I want to choose this dark blue one side and one more color I want to choose where i can give some more lighter color so depending on your requirement you can choose more darker or more lighter color and then the direction i'm going to choose something like this the darker should be at the top if you want more darker you can just increase this one you can see here like this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw some honeycomb design for that go to insert shapes and from basic shapes you can see here i'm going to select the hexagon just click it here shape outline i'm going to give it a yellow one and you can go to the line and increase the width also example maybe instead of one point i can make it two point also and then shape fill make it no fill all right now i'm going to change the height and the width maybe height i'm going to make it one point three non or 1.4 i'm going to make it 1.55 you can see here i got this design so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to replicate this one with many uh, different uh, honeycomb shapes so now i'm going to make it press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here i'm going to add it here again at the bottom this side and then press ctrl d I'm going to attach it here and you have to make sure that there should not be any gaps here all right so now I'm just going to first you can do like this and later on you can uh, align it properly okay so let me just do like this one by one okay you can see here there's some overlapping is there that we need to address later on and then I'm just adding few more here I can just add maybe let me just add it here one and then I'm just going to add one more at this place and then I want to add two more towards the left so you can see here it depends on your requirement where you want to add how much you want to add all right so this is one design I have done so what you need to do is you have to just zoom it properly okay and then make sure that you can see here there's some overlapping is there or some gap is there that has to be corrected so maybe you can take this is the first one okay and now i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to adjust this one first of all okay you can adjust with the help of the keyboard arrow keys also and then you can see here i'm just selecting this one and again placing it properly like this you need to spend some time in adjusting this one so again this one also you can see here i need to adjust it and again the top one also i have to adjust it like this this one also i need to adjust properly so that there should not be any gaps 
can see here this also I need to adjust properly and even this all right so once this is done what we need to do is we need to add some text and icon so let me just correct this first and the last one this side all right let me just see towards the left anything yeah this also i need to correct it i think yes so you can see here i have just corrected this one and now it's time to add some text so i'm talking about the cyber security so go to insert text i'm going to type cyber security all right so black is not visible so i'm going to change the font to white and change the font to any of your fonts of your choice make it bold increase the size you can see here i'm going to increase it and i'm going to place it here that cyber security and then if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just go to the icons and maybe six or seven icons related to uh, the cyber security you can just download it or just select it so I'm just going to scroll it down and for example I'm just going to say this is a bug here all right so I'm going to select this one one and then I'm going to talk about some computers or uh, mobile devices that also so then next I'm going to choose maybe let me just scroll it down you can see here there are a lot of fonts available so I'm just scrolling it down and choose anything for example now I'm going to choose maybe this uh, lock alright and then CCTV and here maybe I'm going to choose something else yeah this is the laptop maybe this one and I want to uh, the mobile also as well as something else if you feel you can just add those things also so once this is done i'm just going to click insert so this has been inserted and i'm going to change the graphic fields to white and the height and width i'm going to make it as 0.7 and then just place one by one here all right so you can see here i'm going to place this one here and this one let me just rotate it like this and one I'm going to place it here the other I want to place it here if you have one more you can just go to insert and then I can add a few more also like uh, let me just scroll it down maybe some folders also or something else also that also be secured and click insert and then again white make it 0.7 and then I'm just going to place it here so once this is done the next thing which i want to do is to add some text here so go to insert text box you can add your text for example say that uh, a, a computer security i'm just typing you can change the text as per your requirement make it white open sans reduce the size if you want you can make it bold also and then i'm just going to put it here and then press ctrl d and i'm going to just say that mobile security for example all right ctrl d i'm going to talk about cctv ctrl d i'm going to talk about something else also so depending on your requirement you can just change your text whatever text you want all right so different text i'm going to add it here all right so now you can see here my basic design is ready uh, i have added the the text the cyber security and if you want to change some background to some nice backgrounds then what you can do is you can go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw the rectangle maybe till here shape outline make it no outline then go to picture or texture fill click on insert 
you can insert the image either from a file or from online pictures or from icons so i have a file which i have uh, saved locally i can select from file or i can just choose online pictures also here and it depends and it requires an internet connection so here you can see here if i want i can just select maybe cyber security if there's any it will come or if not we have to search and then you can see here the cyber security so many things have come up here all right so i can just choose whichever best suits to my requirement i'm going to choose maybe say this one click insert and this has been inserted and then you can just align this properly you can see here i can align it properly okay and if you want i can what i can do is i can make it more transparent also something like this and then send this to back if you want more transparent again go here increase the transparency so that uh, the text on the front to be visible so you can see here i have added this one and now it's time to add some animation effect so this is related to security so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one uh, image where it looks like it is scanning all right so let me just zoom out this one and then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval draw the oval something like this you can see here it is more uh, bigger than the the slide size then shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to choose this uh, light blue color then go to the effects you can see the soft adjust increase the size of the soft adjust something like this you can see here all right so maybe this much and then what happens is when i'm just going to bring this down and then up like this all right and if you want you can make it somewhat transparent also so it looks something like this you can see here so now for this i'm going to add the animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane add animation scroll it down you can see the motion paths line just click that one so it goes down till here you can see the small uh, the red dot just drag it by holding the shift key and place it here all right now double click this smooth start smooth and you make it zero auto reverse click on that timings maybe medium repeat until end of the slide and click ok and now if i play when i click it comes like this you can see here all right and if you like to reduce the size also you can just reduce a little bit like this so it comes like this you can see here it keeps on scanning so now once this is done you can add animation for this maybe you can add add animation go to more entrance effect i can click on stretch click ok this should happen uh, with previous maybe a delay of uh, 0.5 seconds and then let me just click the fit to slide and then i am going to select all this honeycomb design the shapes you can see here one by one by holding the shift key one by one i'm selecting the honeycomb shapes okay once this is done i'm going to add animation more entrance effects i can use maybe a, a compress maybe a basic zoom you can see here different things are you can uh, depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to select the 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 random bars and click ok and this should also happen with previous all right and maybe a little bit delay of something like this or if you want you can just do something like this also not all should come at once so one will come a, a little bit delay and like that so now if i just play when i click you can see here it comes like this and i forgot to add this one also so i can just choose any of this animation painter click on this all right so that also has been added now so if i play again you can see here like this it will come and then i can add the animation effect for the icons first so i'm going to hold the shift key 
select the icons okay and then add animation again more entrance effects again which animation you like to add it maybe uh, a fade effect like this we can add it and click ok and this should also happen with previous again a delay a little bit and then i'm going to add one more animation to this i can go to the add animation go to more emphasis effects you can see here maybe i can just choose the blink so it keeps on blinking click ok so one more added again that should happen with previous right mouse click effect options timings if you want you can make it medium also until end of the slide click ok now what happens is when i click it comes like this you can see here it's it's blinking all right and then the last one the text again i'm going to choose the text all right so all this text i've selected add animation again more entrance effects you want uh, again a uh, or random bars or peek in i'm going to select that again this should happen maybe with previous a little bit delay and one more add animation i'm going to do this is go to the more emphasis effects i can use you can see here uh, shimmer it comes like this okay a color palette or teeter or blink or waves you can see here maybe i'm going to choose the shimmer i don't know how it works but let me just see or i can just do a bold reveal also okay whichever way you feel better which one you want you can just add that one and then for example let me just put shimmer let's see how it looks and this should happen also with previous let me just play now see here it's it comes like this all right so now if you want this one to continue go again for this i'm going to choose this effect options if you want by letter you can do it timings maybe very fast until end of the slide click ok and when i click you can see here like this the animation works so if you want to change the animation you can just go and select some different animations also for example i want to uh, give uh, maybe a a blink okay and click okay and if i play it comes like this the blinking effect so depending on your requirement you can just add it and then you can add your company name and the company logo at the top